Hare Krishna. Our loudest desires won't lead us to happiness. Our deepest desires will. We are all driven by our desires. And different desires drive us in different ways. Often the desires that drive us, that means the desires that push us and we get pushed by them, those desires are the loudest desires. That means if we consider desire to be like a voice speaking inside us, then some desires speak very loudly. Eat this, touch this, buy this, do this. And sometimes though, because those desires are so loud, we start thinking that they are uh, true. Just as we know that if we were in a room and different people were voicing their different opinions, just because somebody was uh, yelling the loudest doesn't mean that what they were speaking was the truest, is the truest. So this, the volume of the speech is not proportional to the uh, veracity of the speech. The truthfulness of the speech, that's an obvious axiom as far as the outer world involving different peoples is concerned. But in our inner world, we seem to forget this. And just because a desire starts screaming loudly for its gratification, we often give in to it. But such gratification often leads not to fulfillment, but to frustration. The desires that speak the loudest are often the desires that are spoken about the loudest by the culture around us. Those are worldly desires. And they lead to frustration as Bhagavad Gita 5.22 states, Yehi samsparshija hoga dukkha yonaya evate adhyantavantah kaunteya nateshu ramate budha nateshu ramate budha that the wise do not delight in these pleasures in gratifying the loudest desires because they will lead to misery. In contrast, then what do we do? We need to fulfill our deepest desires. Just as the person who has thought the most deeply about a subject is likely to speak the truest of that subject. Similarly, our deepest desires, the desires that are most intimately connected with our core, with our soul. It is pursuing those desires that will satisfy us. And ultimately the soul wants to connect with the whole. We connect directly through devotion and internally through devotional absorption and externally through devotional contribution. That means when we remember Krishna more and more internally and serve him more and more, that that aspiration to do our best for our Lord is our deepest desire. And 521 states, Bahya Sparsheshva Saktatma Vindatyatmani Yatsukham Sabrahma Yoga Yuktatma Sukham Akshayam Ashnute Sukham Akshayam Ashnute We will attain imperishable happiness when we stop pursuing our loudest desires, Bahya Sparsheshva Sattatma, the desires that arise from contact with external objects, we stop pursuing them. And then turn inwards to listen to our deepest desires and to listen in two senses. We hear them and we follow them. When we start pursuing and relishing happiness internally, so Brahma Yoga Yuktatma, because of contact with Brahman, because of contact with our own spirituality and with the supreme spiritual reality, Krishna, then we experience imperishable happiness. Thank you. Hare Krishna.